everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to a zara haul this is the first zara haul of the year i'm sorry it's taken me so long i did this order actually about two and a bit weeks ago and it took two weeks to arrive so i was planning on having this up for you much sooner but nonetheless it's here now and I'm so excited. You guys know Zara is one of my favourite stores. The Zara hauls seem to be your favourite videos to watch. So I am excited to get into this and show you some lovely bits. I'm so pleased with this order. But before I get into that, I have some new jewellery to show you. Um, last year I did some regular Monica Vinida unboxings in my videos and you guys loved them i can see the link clicks and oh my gosh you seem to love the monica vinader jewelry so i thought that i would pair two things together zara monica vinader and show you guys some new bits that i've got you will see me wearing all of my monica vinader jewelry throughout all of my videos i mean i've got the necklace on now bangles rings i'm always wearing monica vinader pretty much every day i was a paying customer before i got lucky enough to work with them um so it's a brand that i absolutely adore and i've got some new bits here to show you guys so first up what do we have in here ah a new bracelet so i have these bangles that i wear constantly these are the signature bangles and I wanted something a little bit more dainty. I love these bangles for every day, but I wanted something that I could perhaps wear as more of like an evening piece, something that's a little bit more special. So I picked up this bracelet. Let me get it on first so you guys can see it better. You guys will not believe how long it took me to get that bracelet on on my own. This is the struggle when you don't have anyone else around, um, but this is it on. So this is the Diamond Marquise bracelet i've zoomed in a bit so you can see it better but it's just this beautiful super thin chain with this gorgeous diamond in the middle of it and i think it's so elegant such a beautiful piece as i said like more special perhaps better for like an evening but absolutely gorgeous you could definitely wear this every day so when this diamond marquise collection first came out i actually got the earrings the stud earrings which i have in my third hole at the moment I got the necklace and I got the ring as well. So I thought having the bracelet would make it like a complete set. They are just gorgeous pieces. So beautiful, really elegant, really timeless, perfect for any age. And I think really affordable as well for like a really special diamond piece. I would think that this was actually far more expensive than it is. Um, and I love the thin chain. It's absolutely beautiful. So, so delicate. It's actually 14 karat solid gold, obviously an ethically sourced diamond in the middle there right the next piece what is in here oh another beautiful ring now you guys know i have so many rings from monica vinader and i love to wear them all together i love to stack them i have this one on today in on my middle finger which is the reva i think it's called and then i also have this one as well which has got a tiny little diamond in it and i picked up this one to go with them. I'm not sure how it's gonna look yet. This is actually called the Reva Diamond Wishbone Stacking Ring. So it's meant to be stacked one on top of the other, but you could definitely wear this on its own as well. But I just think it's just so beautiful, so elegant, a really nice thin band, and I love the shape of it as well. It's really different to other things I have. Oh my gosh, yeah, that looks gorgeous. So I've paired it with the other Reva ring that I have on my middle finger. How beautiful does that look? so gorgeous love those pieces together yeah i am super happy with that i know as soon as i show this to my mum she's gonna want this absolutely love that so gorgeous really pleased with that and this is 18 karat gold for meal with the ethically sourced diamonds again and finally this is something a little bit different actually and I got this with the intention of perhaps giving it to my boyfriend for Valentine's Day because Monica Vinader actually do some lovely men's pieces as well. So I thought maybe as like a belated Valentine's Day present, I may give him this. Um, I may not, I may keep it for myself, but it's a beautiful, just plain silver round ring. It's called the Havana Thin Ring. I do have a bit of silver jewellery, so I thought it may be quite nice to have something silver to wear if I want to go, you know, all silver. Normally I do kind of like to mix gold and silver, but I thought it would be quite nice to have a silver piece. So I may keep this for myself actually. It's a little bit big for me, um, 
because I got it in his size, but I'll see. I'm gonna give it to him and see if he likes it, and if not, I'm gonna have it. A really nice, simple, subtle piece, perfect for men, but also really nice for a woman's piece as well. Obviously, this is the sterling silver, but it does come in rose gold as well, if you prefer that. So that was my Monica Vinader order for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up. I completely forgot to let you guys know, but my discount code this month will actually get you 25% off of Monica Vinader. So I'll put the details in the description box and definitely make sure to check that out. Definitely make the most of it, treat yourself to some new jewellery. We've also got Mother's Day coming up, so a little Monica Vinader piece would be the perfect Mother's Day present. I know my mum absolutely adores Monica Vinader, so perhaps I'll get her a little something from there. I know she's going to love this ring combination. That is definitely my favourite piece from this little haul. Just slots in there so beautifully. So as always, I will leave links to the things I have shown you guys in the description box, along with my discount code and the link to the Monica Vinader website so you can shop, have a little browse if you wish. Oh, so now that that is done, I'm gonna get into the Zara haul. We've got a big old box here. Um, I can't wait to show you guys these pieces. I'm gonna start with my favorites first because I think they will be your favorites as well. So first up, the item that inspired the whole haul that I've already worn so many times already. It's one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe right now. It is the bomber jacket. So I'm sure you've seen these viral bomber jackets going around. Um, this one is more expensive. So there were two, I think two or three, um, in a lighter grey, a cream, and I think a, like a khaki green or, or like a forest green colour as well. Um, and that bomber was, I think, 49.99, so super affordable, really, really nice. Muggins here, didn't see that one on the website. Saw this one and ordered it, and this one was £110, I think, so a lot more expensive, which is slightly annoying, um, because I would have preferred, obviously, to spend half the price, but oh well. We're gonna go with this one. I love this one, it's really good quality. I do like that it's a slightly darker color as well. And it is a little bit different. I mean, most people do have that lighter gray one. So it's kind of nice to have one that's a little bit different, but this is gorgeous. I picked it up in a size extra small to small and it fits really nicely. It's nice and oversized. I can put a hoodie underneath it. Definitely didn't need to size up. And I just love this. I've worn it so many times already. If you wanna see how I've styled it, you can go over to my Instagram and you'll be able to see it on there. But I love that it's kind of a charcoal gray because I'm so into gray at the moment. So it looks really, really nice with like an all gray look. I've also paired it with an all cream look, white jeans, my sambas and a white top underneath. Super versatile, really, really nice for spring. But as I said, you can layer up underneath this because it's a bit oversized. So it is good for now as well. But bomber jackets are huge this spring. They're a great transitional piece as well. And yeah, I love this one. It is sold out at the moment, unfortunately. I'm really, really sorry. I'm gonna leave a link to it and I'm gonna pop the code as well in the description if I remember so that if you see it in store, you'll know which one it is. Next up, as I said, I was loving grey. I thought I would show you my second favourite item from this haul. So I I have quite a lot of pairs of jeans, um, but I wanted a little bit of a refresh of my jean collection. I wanted some new bits, so I picked up these jeans. These are called Stove Pipe. Um, I got them in a size 36, which is a UK 8, and they were only 29 99 so super affordable. But I just love kind of the light grey colouring to them. They're a really nice straight leg, and they're also kind of cropped as well, which I like. They fit really nicely. I feel like they're such a flattering shape. A nice, thick, good quality denim as well. I really, really like these. You'll see in the cutaway, I paired them with the bomber jacket and a pair of loafers, and I feel like they look really, really nice together. They're gonna look so nice with this bodysuit as well. And also I feel like the grey is, again, a really nice transitional colour to go into spring with. It's a bit lighter than the black. This colour is going to look great with whites and creams as well. So super excited to wear these and take these into spring with me. Next up, we have another pair of jeans, which I have already worn. Um, I wanted a pair of, like, looser longer black jeans. I have a pair from Zara that I got in the summer and they're really nice but they're slightly cropped and they're quite a tight fitting straight leg. So I picked these ones up. These are also a straight leg but they're a little wider 
and quite long as well which is really really nice these look great with trainers i have worn them with heels and i don't feel they were quite long enough to wear them with heels so i probably will just stick to wearing these with flats but i've worn them with my sambas and my converse and i feel like they look really really nice dressed down like that again super comfy i got these in a size 36 i have worn them so i've taken the tag off but i can't imagine they were much more than 30 pounds and again these are kind of like a wash they're not a jet black so i feel like they look really really nice again with the bomber jacket which i have worn them with but also i have styled them just here nice and casually with a basic and my aviator jacket that basic that you will have seen just now is this one here and i really really like it because it's a super thin cream long sleeve top with a bit of a twist now i've got to get these straps right to show you ah here we go so as i said super thin so i haven't got anything on underneath it whoops but i don't really know what you'd wear underneath this because it is so see-through but i really really loved the kind of asymmetric straps underneath i thought this was really really cool a bit different to like a plain basic like i've got on today i think they also do this in black as well um, but because it's so thin, again, it's a really good transitional piece. This is going to look great for blue denim. I got it in a size small and it was only $19.99. But it's just something a bit different. I feel like this looks kind of designer inspired as well. And it's super, super soft. Really, really nice, soft material. Next up, I have a gorgeous, gorgeous set that, that I purchased because I love the look of. But I think I may return because... I just don't know when I'm going to wear these items. I absolutely love them on, but I feel like I need an occasion to justify keeping these. But here is the top. It's a gorgeous kind of like brownie beige pinstripe corset kind of style top. Um, I actually had to get this in a size small because they didn't have an extra small. I really, really wanted the set. So I purchased a small and I thought I'll just maybe get it taken in or I'll like pin it at the back or something. Uh, but it actually fits me really nicely. It's maybe ever so slightly too loose. But for somebody that is so small up top, I really thought that this would just like fall straight down. Um, but it didn't. So maybe I would say size up on this. Um, how much was it? It was £25.99. So not too expensive. I also thought that this would look really, really nice with a pair of like black oversized jeans like the ones I've shown or a pair of blue oversized jeans. It doesn't have to be worn with the trousers. So these are the trousers. These are a lovely shape. They are super oversized. Um, I got them in a size extra small and they were 49.99. So I would definitely say size down. They're not high waisted. I think they're meant to sit kind of like just on your hips um, because the top is nice and long as well. So you'll see in the cutaway how they look together. There's no kind of midriff on show, which I quite like. These are a really oversized, loose fitting suit pant, which I think is really, really cool. It contrasts really nicely to the skimpy kind of bodice style on the top. These are nice and long as well. I paired these with my mango sock boots and the length is really nice. I love how like long and flowy and oversized they are. It just makes them really, really comfortable. I do love this set together. I feel like it's probably going to divide you guys. I'm not sure if you're all going to love it because um, it's more of like a trendy kind of piece I think than a classic look that I normally go for but I really really like them together I feel like it'd be a fab like dinner outfit for a special occasion but unfortunately I just don't have one of those at the moment to wear it to so I think it may go back but let me know what you guys think if you like it or if you're not a fan of the super oversized trousers um, I know they need a bit of a press I just put them on because I wanted to try them but yeah I think they need a bit of an iron if I was to wear them out but I do really like this set together I love that it's pinstripe but a beige pinstripe as well rather than like a navy or a grey I feel like that kind of brightens it for spring as well you could definitely pop a wool coat or a black blazer over the top of this if you needed to but I really wanted to show it off just as it is next up I have a pair of like jean almost jean denim cargo trousers um, I really loved the look of these online. It, I just kind of put them in my basket without really thinking um, because they're not something that I would normally go for. Just an oversized pair of cargo trousers in this kind of like greyish colour. I've just dressed these up as kind of like an evening look. I think I may return these because I don't know how else I would wear them. Um, you probably could wear them with trainers and keep them nice and casual, but I feel like they're a bit 
that's a bit much for me. I prefer to dress something like this up rather than dress it down. And we got them in a size extra small and they were £50. So I think for £50, I'm not really sure how much I'm going to wear them. Um, I much prefer the grey and the black jeans that I've got from earlier in the haul. So I think these will be going back, but I really do love the fit of them. I was very pleasantly surprised with how well they fit me around the waist and the shape of the bottom of them. They go into a really nice wide leg, super comfy as well and really good quality. So I do love them, but I just don't think I will personally get the wear out of them. Um, so for £50, I think they will be going back. And finally, we have a piece of loungewear to show you. I picked up these soft joggers and they're almost in like a balloon shape. So they kind of go out in the middle and then slightly tapered at the bottom. And oh my goodness, these are so, so soft. I don't know if there's like a matching like jumper or hoodie or something. I'm going to have a look and see if there is because this would make such a nice cosy set. Um, I got them in a size small and they were £25.99 but I adore these. I'm going on a little staycation tomorrow and I'm going to wear these as like my travel outfit. Nice and cosy and comfy. I just adore them. Elasticated waist and they've got pockets as well. I haven't bought myself like new loungewear in so long. I've got into the habit of just wearing leggings and a jumper every single day at home. So I wanted something other than leggings that I could pop on and feel kind of semi-presentable. So I've styled these with, I think my black long coat and my sambas in the cutaway, which is such a nice casual outfit, super comfy, but the tailored coat kind of smartens it up. I've also styled these with my bomber jacket as well, but they would look so great with like a cropped hoodie or something and slippers lounging around at home. So definitely keeping these, I absolutely love them. If you're after a pair of soft joggers, then these are gorgeous. I think they come in another color as well, maybe something a little bit more creamy. I'm not 100% sure, but I really like this colour. I am definitely keeping them. So that is everything from my Zara order that I have to show you. I really hope you guys enjoyed the first one of the year. There will be plenty more to come. Do let me know if there are any videos in particular that you guys want to see from me. I have a few more planned, but... Other than that, I don't really have too many ideas for March content. So if there's anything you want to see, let me know. Also, don't forget to let me know your favourite piece in the comments down below. I have linked everything in the description box. Hopefully, most of the things are still available for you guys. But because this order took so long to come, I'm worried that they may be out of stock. I'll pop all my sizes down there for you as well in case you missed any of them. If you did enjoy this video, it would be amazing if you could give it a like. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe. And I will see you all in another video very soon.